So I'm not exactly sure what I paid the $129 a year for. Good morning, everybody in internet world. This is Cruise Man, and I have a little journey this morning. I'm going to ride the bike over to Don Smith's house. Some of you have seen Don Smith before. He's got his own YouTube channel, Texas Tulane. You can check it out at texastulane.com. And uh, he's going to help me out by loaning me a, or giving me a little uh, device that I need for shooting a video with all the equipment that I've got to shoot videos. I need this little adapter, this tiny little uh, 3 8 to quarter inch adapter. And, of course, my first instinct was to order it. I'm adjusting my camera here. Was to order this on Amazon. Being a loyal Prime member. member. But every time I try to order something now from Amazon, it says it's gonna, not going to be delivered until May 13th. So I'm not exactly sure what I paid the $129 a year for. I thought it was for two-day delivery not three-week delivery yeah I know we got a pandemic I understand all that <clears throat> so you don't have to remind me <clears throat> so I'm gonna head over to Don's house and pick this thing up and then I will be able to finish shooting my uh, review video of the Garmin uh, Zumo XT and since I'm gonna do a ride to Don's house I thought I'd put his address in into the GPS and just let it kind of guide me there so you can kind of see a little example this is obviously not the review the full review but you can kind of see how it works let me get down here maybe the GoPro won't be such a wide angle where you can at least see some of it so I'm going to say where to and I'm basically going to enter an address because I know Don's address it's using the avoidance preferences that I've already set up in the GPS I've already said to avoid highways because I don't want to go on a highway so I'm going to take back roads now I've got the headset on my uh, my Bluetooth headset turned off right now it's not turned on so I'm actually getting directions through the little speaker but I'm going to turn my headset on okay so I am now um, not getting anything through the headset except for my navigation instructions okay so let's get out of here it's actually a beautiful day it's 70 degrees outside couldn't ask for a nicer day just incredible I'm not sure if you're able to pick up the navigational instructions that are coming through my speakers in my helmet. You probably hear something back there, but you probably can't get real clear. But it is telling me, you know, where my next turn is. And, of course, it tells me that on the screen as well. Now, I know how to get to Don's house. It's not like I would need a GPS to do this. I'm just using every opportunity I can to test out this... XT and to kind of give myself an idea of how it compares to the GoPro 595. And I will be wrapping all this up into a final review. And, and I've had a ton of emails and a ton of uh, comments. There seems to be a lot of interest in this new Garmin Zumo XT. Now, just to answer a couple of those questions, some of you have asked me, what is the advantage? What's the advantage to having this GPS when you've got a built-in GPS on the Goldwing? 
and honestly for probably 60 percent 70 percent of the riders out there the uh, built-in GPS is going to be just fine uh, if all you want to do is find the closest gas station or the nearest Chinese restaurant or something like that the built-in Honda GPS is fine However, if you're doing serious off-road, I'm sorry, serious uh, long-distance touring, uh, multi-day trips, and you want to have any control over your routes, over which roads you take, like I like to take back roads. I don't, I don't want to take interstates. And a GPS, by its very nature, is always going to want to try to put you on an interstate because it wants to get you there the fastest way. Uh, it can because most people just want to get where they're going in a hurry they don't care about being on an interstate but if I'm on a motorcycle trip I want to take back roads I want to take more of a scenic route so I'll use uh, Garmin's base camp on my computer and lay out the route to take exactly the roads I want to take that's very difficult to do with the Honda built-in GPS and you could do it. I'm not saying it's not doable, but it's very difficult to do. Now the same, you can make the same argument for Apple CarPlay, because a lot of people say, well, if you've got Apple CarPlay with Waze or Google Maps or one of these, why do you need a, a GPS? There's a lot of things that this product does that you don't get with an Apple CarPlay app. So again, it's you can lay out routes in Google Maps. And you may even be able to do it in ways. But it it's not an elegant solution. It's possible to do it, but it's really not what those products are designed to do. This product is designed for that purpose. That's what this is kind of made for. Also, if you're an adventure rider and you have a BMW GS or you have a uh, Honda uh, Africa Twin or something like that, <clears throat> this particular model has a lot of features that are specific to adventure riding. So you're going to like the durability. The unit's supposed to be made much more durable, uh, able to withstand impacts. Um, this can also communicate with a... Um, satellite communicator so if you're in an area that doesn't have cell phone reception uh, they Garmin has a line of products called inReach and they're little communicators that are basically like satellite where you can send text messages SOS messages things like that well this unit can communicate via satellite so that you could receive text messages through your inReach device right here on the XT screen it's actually very cool. It's not something I would probably need, but if you're an adventure rider and you're off-road, you're in the backwoods where there's no cell phone service, that would be a huge advantage to you. So there's all kinds of uh, apps that are built into this unit as well for weather radar, for traffic, and of course you have to have a smartphone and you have to be running the Garmin uh, Connect app on your smartphone and have your smartphone paired with the GPS, which I do, so that you can also make phone calls. Now, you could do all that with Apple CarPlay. You wouldn't have to have this to make phone calls, but you can do that right through this unit. So it's for those of us that have Android phones, this is an excellent option because it gives you much, much better telephone connectivity uh, than does the Goldwing. And of course, if you don't have a Goldwing, or if you have a bike without, you know, those audio systems that connect cell phones, this would be a must. It'd be a, you just have to have it, something like this. And the telephone system works very well on this Garmin. I've tested on this one and the 595, and they both work really well. So this is day 35, I believe, or 36 of the shutdown, and uh, you know, it's it's uh, doesn't seem to be getting any more. I'm not getting any more used to it than I was before. A lot of you commented on my Hulu experiences and my Dish 
now that we went back to uh, dish for our television programming and I'm telling you what I'm loving my dish man I'm loving it and we just had nothing but issues with Hulu and you know the system hanging up and couldn't download show you know we'd be in the middle of watching our show and it would just freeze and it's like it couldn't get an internet connection or like it couldn't download the information fast enough and I know it's not my internet connection because we have 500 up and 500 down on internet we got super fast internet uh, through our Fios um, fiber optic cable so I know it's not my internet connection it's just a Hulu thing I'm just curious how many of you have already received your $1,200 stimulus direct deposit or check. Uh, I'm still waiting on mine. I still haven't gotten mine, and here we are past the middle of April. Uh, was, I guess it's April 21st today, and I still haven't gotten anything. So I'd just be curious in the comments down below, how many of you have already received your uh, $1,200? So I'm going to head on over to Don's and pick up my little part. And that's pretty much it for today. You can see I've got my XT telling me where to go. I will be doing a couple more motor vlogs this week. I really appreciate all you guys and gals watching my channel. And... posting your comments. I try to read every comment that comes through. I don't get to reply to every single one, but I I try to as much as possible. I usually spend the first couple hours every morning while I'm having coffee going through the comments on my uh, YouTube videos. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click that little subscribe button down below. Click the bell if you want to be notified of new videos coming out, and there will be more. Keep an eye out for my uh, Garmin XT review. I've got a couple other products coming soon that I'll be reviewing as well. I haven't forgotten about the, the seat. All of you keep asking me for my review on the seat. We, we will get that review done. I'm waiting on some more information from the manufacturer. That's the only reason I haven't gone ahead and posted a review of this seat because I have I have been riding with it now for a couple of months, so it's not like I'm not used to it now. I am pretty used to it. I, I'm, I'm okay with uh, talking about my experience on the seat, but there's some facts and figures and things, questions that I have that I know you're going to have, and I want to make sure those questions get answered before I post my review. So anyway, I will talk to you next time on the next Cruise Man's Moto Vlog. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Thanks again for joining us on Cruise Man's Garage.